Hello everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we're back in our FPS UE5.2 project. Um, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this episode, so I apologize that it's taking me so long to get it to you. But um, today we're going to finally be adding in our equipment. I've already done it, so I'm going to delete the code, like so. Um, and I'm also going to delete this out as well. There we go. Right. So, um, starting afresh, now we need to basically devise a way to get our item into our hand so that we can um, start doing different things. And so what we need to do is I'm going to start off by clicking on our mesh and I'm going to add in a new skeletal mesh. Now, this should be blank. I hope it should be blank. It is. What we're going to do is select this skeletal mesh. Now we're going to give it an object just so we can see kind of what's going on. And we're going to give it, uh, I have got in some weapons for now. Um, so we'll, we'll use that. Now, what I want to do is I want it to connect up to our right hand. So it's always sits in our right hand. So if you click on the parent slot on the right hand side here, you'll see this little, uh, it looks like a folder with a, with a magnifying glass, click on that and scroll down to you find right hand. Now you'll see it's a little bit uh, off, but um, that's okay because we're going to just get this kind of in the right, oh, right sort of position. We'll aim it straight and we'll just line it up with the hand as best as you can. Uh, let's have a look and see how that looks. It needs to go back a bit. Uh, oh, and we'll just kind of do that I feel like it could go back probably a little bit more because this is going to use it for every item so we also want it to um, sit there for apples and all that sort of good stuff as well but that looks okay what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a look at apple as well and make sure yeah that looks that looks pretty pretty good actually okay and then the other one we want to look at is like the donut some it's never going to be um, perfect because, uh, as you can see, different items, different shapes. It's, it's not going to be the best, especially with the model we're using. But uh, you know, if you could have, if you could get an a um, animation that looks like it's actually grabbing something, um, because mine's just idle. It it's not going to look the best. But if we had an animation where it was grabbing something, or it looked like it was grabbing something, it would look a million times better. But that's fine. We, we, we use what we got, right? So the idea is that this skeletal mesh will now spawn in uh, all of our items that we need. So the next thing we need to do is we want to come over to our actual event graph. And you probably saw the code already. But we're going to create two custom events. And uh, attach uh, item. We'll call it attach item. And uh, we'll, we'll do another custom event. And we'll call this uh, unattach weapon. Uh, so the first thing we want to grab, now I'm going to rename this skeletal mesh just for naming convention. We'll call this our item slot. And we're going to drag that out. And we're going to set skeletal mesh asset. Now, someone asked me in the comments why I'm using the skeletal mesh asset. And the reason for this is uh, because we are um, going to use the skeletal mesh to spawn uh, things like muzzle flashes and bullets and things like that from. So the, we're using the skeletal mesh for every item just to keep it easy because we don't want to have to be switching in between uh, static meshes and skeletal meshes. It's easy just to keep everything uh, as one. So uh, the reason I've done this is so that we spawn in the actual skeletal mesh itself. We're, just, we're not actually spawning anything in. We're just setting this to a certain object. Now... The next thing we're going to want to do is grab our item, equip item. Uh, we're going to break this so we get all that lovely information. And we're going to actually, you can, if you click on the broken item strip, you can actually decide to deselect certain things that you don't need. So 
we can do that and just get the item skeletal mesh. There we go. And that's all we need to do. So for this one, for the unattached, uh, for the unattached, we're just leaving it as blank so that it goes to uh, invisible. And for the attached, we're setting it to whatever the equipped, current equipped item is. Like so. And um, the next thing we are going to want to do is um, we're going to have to go into our inventory. So the first things first, we are going to go to the unequipped slot. We're going to get that third person character reference. And we're going to uh, unattach our weapon. Like so. And then if we go to our item tutorial section here, we're going to want to find where we are. Uh, this is, sorry, that was in the inventory, the main inventory, on our unequipped slot uh, function. That's where that's going. Then we're going to go into the, the slot widget, uh, where we click on the item slot, because this is where we typically attach an item. So to do that, we're going to get our third person character again, and we're going to attach item. And with those two in place, we, in theory, should have a working equipment item slot. Now, there will be a little bit more work to do on here once we have got the um, weapon, an actual gun, for example. Because when you have an actual gun, we will want to change our animation stance. So there will be another little check here to ensure we're not equipping a melee weapon or a gun. Because if we're doing either of those, we're going to need to switch out the actual animation itself. But we'll come to that when we do our animations in the next couple of uh, episodes. So let's test this. First thing we want to do is get rid of this item here so it's blank. So just clear it. There you go. And as you can see, there's nothing in my hand now. Compile. And we're going to play. And we'll be up here again. I, I should really move this. And we're going to jump down here. Bonk. And we're going to pick up this wep uh, this apple. Now, the apple and the donuts are the only weapon that we have uh, an actual uh, mesh in. So if we grab this, we should be able to grab that out. And we shouldn't be able to punch now because we're holding a food item, not a normal item. Now, I've checked out the top left. You can see it's saying food. If I press T, you can now see that I'm actually holding my apple. If I swap it for the donut, it swaps to the donut. Um, so you can now actually put those items in to your inventory. Um, so hopefully you find this episode useful. Uh, in the next episode now, we're going to start going through each individual section and creating uh, out the code for each one. Um, obviously, the weapons that I have already came with skeletal meshes. So I downloaded a pack. It's called Military Weapon Pack. Uh, and if I go into the weapons, you can see I have static meshes and skeletal meshes for both. So we can use the static meshes for the item drops, and we can use skeletal meshes for the uh, attaching. Uh, it also comes with a, a bunch of useful stuff as well, things like uh, FX. So we've got like bullets, uh, or bullet line traces, things like that. We've got sounds as well. So this is a really cool pack to get us going. Uh, it's called the Military Weapon Dark. Uh, I think they also do a light one. Let me see if I can pull that up on here. Uh, all I did was I searched my sections. I've got Military Weapon Silver and I've got Sci-Fi Weapons Dark. Oh, Military Weapons Dark. That's what's called there. That's the project name. If you look in the, mil uh, in the marketplace, you should be able to find it. Um, so that's the two. That's the, this is the main one I'm using, but you also have got the, the Weapon Silver as well. Uh, or you've got sci-fi weapons you can find as well. These are all on the marketplace, so uh, have a look for those, um, and you should be should be good to go for the next few episodes. So thank you so much guys for watching, and I will see you all soon. Much love. Take care. Bye.